Hi, I'm Ted Cho. I'm a physician who focuses on the management and treatment of people with dizziness and balance disorders in Los Angeles, California. Today I'll be talking about some home vestibular exercises. These exercises are based on the cawthorn Cooksey exercises. They are very beneficial for a variety of dizziness and balance conditions. Be sure to talk with your physician prior to undergoing these exercises because they may not be relevant for your particular dizziness condition. These exercises can be broken down in several different components. The first part of the exercise focuses on eye movements, the second part on eye and head movements, and the third part on postural control and how you are standing. These exercises start in the sitting position. The first set of exercises involve eye movements. They are eye tracking exercises. The first set involve moving your eyes up and down like this. The second set involve moving your eyes from side to side, like this. The third set of exercises involves tracking an object in and out. You can use a device like a pen or pencil, and it is like this. The second group of exercises focuses on eye and head movements, and they use a device like a pencil that you hold from a distance. The first in this group involve focusing on a device like a pencil about an arm's length apart and looking up and down. The second in this series involves looking from side to side. The third in this set of exercises involves shrugging the shoulder. You can go backwards and forwards. The final exercise in this series is placing an object on the ground. Be careful if you have any back problems. You do this, and you pick it up, and then you can switch hands. The next series in these exercises involves standing. While you are standing, you will repeat the eye exercises. These include looking up and down, looking side to side, and using an object like a pen to look in and out. You'll be repeating the part of the exercises that involve head and eye movements, where you'll have an object about an arm's length away. You'll be focusing on the object and moving your head up and down, and side to side. You'll also be repeating the shoulder shrugs, which involve shrugging forward and shrugging backwards. The next part of the exercises involves going from a sitting to standing position. First do it with your eyes open.
then do it with your eyes closed. The next part of the exercise also involves sitting and standing, except you will be turning around in a circle before sitting down. You can change directions as well. For the next exercise, it would be helpful to have a ball like a tennis ball available. The next exercise will involve tossing the ball above eye level, side to side. The next exercise will involve using the tennis ball and passing it in between your legs. The next exercise will involve standing on one leg. First with your eyes open. You can alternate legs. Then next you repeat this with your eyes closed. The final in this series of exercises involves walking heel to toe, like this. If you are very unstable, you may consider walking close to a wall or other surface that you can hold on to. You have just completed the home vestibular exercises or modified Cawthorn Cooksey exercises. If you feel you have some persistent balance issues after these exercises, it would be wise to check with your physician.